There are lots of things you can do with a potato. You can fry it, mash it, whip it, but sell it for good luck? Some people just don't buy it. Here's what I want to do. What the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to explain it to you. Give me a second. I sell lucky potatoes. What's my bag yet? Bob's lucky potatoes. Ma'am, I'm telling you, if you believe in luck, these are going to change your life. You got to be kidding. I'm telling you. Maybe Bob is kidding, but he has some people sold on the idea of viable luck. Oh, and ask him. Now, there's the question, how much? Now, the more you pay, the more luck you get. Sounds fair. And his shtick works. People will trade in a dollar for a spud of luck. Change it. Okay, all right. All right, good luck to you, okay? okay. Uh, and if things work out... Where can I find you? You can find me. Bob says he handed potatoes to the likes of Johnny Carson and John Glenn. In fact, this is the way he broke into the business. In 1986, he was about to forget his dream of being an entertainer when his grandmother said he should use the water in her lucky well. Well, what else was he going to do with that but dunk a potato in it and sell it? Some people would say you are absolutely out of your mind. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it's... It's been pretty good to me. I, I, you know, I got two new cars out of it. I got, you know, ten suits, uh, and I'm working all over the country. So, I think the people, you know, might think I'm out of my mind, but it's working. And, and luck's all relative, anyways. What is luck? Can you actually grab it? Can you put your hand on it? Maybe not, but these potato buyers are going to give their newly purchased luck a whirl. One, two, three. Spin the wheel. Sure, loser. I'll give it a last buck and go home hungry. Maybe that potato will come in handy after all. With photographer Tim Tepper, Danita Cohen, News Channel 8.